Hey everyone, thanks for your patience. I was having some connectivity problems, so I'm glad to be back on track with you. Tonight we are talking about the importance of celebrating small wins. And we're gonna talk about it in relation to both fitness and in business. So some of you were on the workshop that I did about a month ago, the Busy Entrepreneur's Fitness Shortcuts, in which we talked a lot about the importance of celebrating small wins as it pertains to fitness and building consistent habits. Well, tonight I wanna to take that conversation and apply it a little bit more to the business side, although it definitely pertains to both. So first of all, when it comes to being a business owner and taking care of yourself and taking care of your fledgling business, I want you to remember to not wait to celebrate until you feel like you're you're bigger until you've reached some you know arrival point at which point you have the the clout or the credibility to celebrate. No, no, no. That's not how it works at all. It's actually more crucial, more important to celebrate those wins early on. And part of that is because it does tie back into the same concepts that we talked about in celebrating your fitness small wins. When you're early in the game, when you're building up a habit, when you're creating something new that requires a lot of discipline and drive and um, follow through, the brain wants to have a reward every single time. The brain will not encourage you to continue repeating behavior that it doesn't feel good about. So from the very get-go, as you're associating some type of reward, whether it's a, an actual physical reward or some um, habit or um, celebration or a method or ritual that you have for celebrating your wins, that's actually going to reinstate the habit of creating your business in the first place, those daily disciplines to actually build it into the thing that you want it to be. Secondly, though, it validates you as a business. I think every small business owner, when they first get started, has that kind of um, not a real business phobia. They always feel like, you know, well, someday I'll be a real business, but I'm not yet until I have certain numbers to justify it or to show it or um, a certain product line or a certain monetization level to, to in order to show it. I don't want you to take that mentality. I want you from the very moment you declare yourself a business owner, I want you to rise up and own that. So celebrating your wins really validates yourself as a business owner. I think it's really, really important. And second of all, I want you to celebrate appropriate in a way that is appropriate to the magnitude of the effort not the magnitude of the result. So this is true, again, in fitness or in business, but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in the business context tonight because we're talking about self-care as it relates to our heads and not just our bodies, everything, everything that gives us more energy for our business. But when you're early on in your business or when you're early on in creating a fitness habit, it might take an enormous effort to get a little bit of results. The results may not accurately reflect the amount of work that you put into something. I think it's really important to celebrate your effort and not necessarily your, re your results because a heck of a lot more effort at the than you did, you know, than you would if you were really rocking and rolling in your business. So I think your celebration needs to be appropriate to the effort that you actually put and if that makes sense. So that's something that I wasn't real great at at the, be, at the early, early part of my business and I've started changing and incorporating, um, even changing and incorporating it into my goal setting process from the beginning, which is the third thing I wanted to talk to you about. I want you to include celebrations in both your pre and post goal setting. So I personally do goal setting every quarter uh, for my business, my fitness, my life, <laughs> everything. I kind of look, take a look at everything, but particularly in regards to my business. So I think it's a great idea. This is a concept that Shalene Johnson teaches in her Smart Success Academy, which I'm a student of. I think it's a really great idea to set those milestones ahead of time and attach a reward to them. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm trying to reincorporate doing. And I, that gives you that extra motivation to know exactly what it is you're going to do. So this is where we're getting real practical. So you know, when you, whatever that may be, maybe it's create that online course, you're going to do X, whatever it is. Maybe it's a, you know, a weekend away. And it doesn't have to necessarily include um, money. Sometimes you might need to be creative at the beginning of the beginning of your uh, business and in, in building up your goals. Oh, good, my dogs are going nuts. Hey. Hey, lovelies. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're live here. So the yeah, dogs are having to, look, to jump in on the conversation here. 
<laughs> the joys of working from home. Hi, hi, Moan. Good to see you. So we were talking about including goal setting. Oh my. Hopefully they're just gonna. Oh good. Yeah. So someone's outside, and the dog just totally hijacked this conversation. So the importance of building goal setting. Um, celebration day to your goal setting from the get-go comes in um, not only for deciding which rewards you're going to attribute to the specific behavior, the specific um, achievement, but also in your post goal setting. So I always review all my goals in, from the prior three months as well. So that's the time that I build in celebration for those things that I just accomplished. It's no good, one, it's no good to set a goal and then not review it and gauge whether or not you accomplished it. But two, I really want you to take that time at the end of whatever your goal planning period is, whatever period you assign to yourself, to truly celebrate. So, you know, for me this quarter, I took a week off of, I always try to take a week between um, like big launches. I try to plan my launches per the end of the quarter and then take a little bit of a week off. Um, not necessarily from my day job, but from um, my business and just be able to celebrate and enjoy. So I did that and then as I'm starting to go into my, my next goal planning, I review all those goals from the last quarter and I celebrate them. So I opened champagne, you know, I celebrated this, a successful Boss Body System launch this summer. So, you know, my doggies and I sat on the couch and, and drank champagne and we played our, our theme song that we had picked out for the quarter and we enjoyed it. It is so critical for you to enjoy those accomplishments because one, you've worked so, so hard for them, and two, you're always paving that, um, that path and that habit and that um, process for as you get bigger and as you scale up. I don't want you to be the type of person that always has to next, have the next big thing to, before they feel legitimate. I want you to feel legitimate here and now, whether that means, you know, running for 60 seconds without stopping for the first time in your fitness goals, or whether that means having your first sale in your business. I want you to celebrate each and every step because why else do it? Why else have these big ambitions if we don't get to enjoy and savor the work that we've created? So I hope you find this helpful. I'm really, really excited to be having these Tuesday night chats. So remember to come back here, same time, same place next week. And we will, what will we be talking about next week? Shoot, I always try to remember, because I plan it out in advance. I always try to remember the week before. Oh, I think it's talking about whether, yeah, I think that's next week. When is it ever appropriate to have aggressive fitness goals? And the answer might surprise you. So I hope to see you on there. If you are not already part of the Ele Elevate Entrepreneur community, this is a really great place for you to celebrate your your wins on an ongoing basis. In fact, if you are able to join us before tomorrow, every Wednesday we post a theme in our group called Way to Go Wednesday. So we're just on cue for that tomorrow. I'd love for you to be a part. Um, that's inside our private Elevate Entrepreneur Facebook group and you are so invited to join. The way you join is you are first going to go to ElevateSelfCare.com, download my free self-care guide for entrepreneurs with day jobs. It's going to teach you lots of strategies, really practical self-care strategies for taking care of your head and your body so that you have more energy, more sustainability, uh, more oomph and more mojo for your business. So if you go to ElevateSelfCare.com, you will download that and you'll also at that time get instructions to join or request access to the Elevate Entrepreneur private Facebook group. Of course, we will let you in. We can't wait to hear and celebrate your wins inside the group. Bye for now.